All right, Todd with Jeep Speed Shop. Okay, here we go. We're gonna talk about a couple engines. This is a late model, I'd say 19 or 20, uh, 5.7 liter truck Hemi. And this one has, we're gonna, we're gonna try stock manifolds. So this one has the stock exhaust manifolds. Here we are running our bolt-in engine mounts. AC compressor, this is the mod that we do now with that. We cut these off All right, like that. Get a kind of an eyeball there. And so this one, even though it was a late model motor, had the right compressor, didn't have the plug in the back. So that worked out. And this is kind of how the wiring goes. All right, so this is the driver's side. Coming down the driver's side, run this lead down this side. These are the front speed sensor for the 545. Here's the plug for the 545, which we do not use anymore. And there's the rear for the 545, which we don't use. So on this branch, you can kind of see how it tees off. Obviously the left side driver side for you guys on the other side there so for front o2s rear o2 as you can see it comes off there's the um, four-wheel drive switch or plug um, so the branch for the four-wheel drive plug is the rear branch for the driver's side o2 and then the rear speed sensor or actually no, it's not a speed sensor, it's a pressure sensor for the 545, which we don't use. On this branch here of wiring, this is the rear O2 for the passenger side. And as you can see, comes over this way to the passenger side for the front O2, all right? So it's critical because we've had a few people get that mixed up. So we're kind of doing a quick video on wiring and that's actually the whole thing as we did this whole build getting it ready to be installed into a jeep so there's also the plug for the short runner valve motor all right this is the motor for the short runner valve and the intake manifold there's that plug so kind of going over it all and this is a you know mock-up so the, we got the um fittings in for the cooler lines this lever here is for let's say you had a breakdown something happened whatever you needed to put the transmission into neutral to tow it you would hook to that we don't use that because we have a jeep and the jeep has a uh, neutral in the transfer case so no need to hook this up no need to use it this is not used at all okay so this one here we're running a this one's gonna actually have an Atlas four speed, so no mod to be done here on the adapter, okay? You know, steel pan, we're on a steel pan. Exhaust manifold from a truck, we're gonna try it. You know, a little bit of fender well relocation, maybe a two by four and a hammer, but nothing big, just a little, little something. So, and then bolt in mount for this side. And we had to change out the knock sensors, oil filter adapter, which is necessary if you're running a four link because the link arm is gonna come up right here. So you don't run this, the link arm right into the oil filter. No bueno. Um, and then I think that's about it, except for the fan. You gotta make sure you add the sensor for the fan, for the Camaro fan. All right, there's the pigtail that you'll hook to the lingam filter that is made for us. Um, I think that's about it on the mock-up of this engine. Got another one over here. That's already been laid out too. So when you do these, don't forget the battery cables. All right. Don't forget the EVAP stuff here. So the EVAP stuff, don't forget to add that. It goes down back to right here. All right, and as you can see, all this wiring also is run. You know, we don't use this, we're not using that. And then we have all the O2s and everything all laid out on this also. 
And this is pretty much the same engine. Five seven truck Hemi. Um, oil filter adapter and all the wiring. So you know, I you know, don't get a lot of questions on wiring, but I get a few, you know. So um, now, also this one. It's running our PSC bracket for the big board box, only needed for the truck Hemi. All right, so this pulley, only needed for the truck Hemi. You have to use the PSC steering pump to make it work. Um, and this one right here also has the, the cutout. We cut out that one to bolt this up for the um, big board box to make, it, to make room. And there's the belt that we use. The gates belt. Um, let's see what else do we talk about here? It's this one here. Also, we got you know, the coolant sensor, which comes from the driver side. Here's the plug that would go to the adapter that would go to the um, throttle body. So, coolant is over here on the driver side. Now. This is the alternator plug, okay? This is the air temp. So I realize they're both over here, but it's been lengthened. And as you can see, it's all taped together. You just untape it and then pull this wire. Now it's over on the passenger side because this, this wire would also go for a 6.4 and it would go into the back of the alternator on this side. On the 5.7, there's the alternator. You'd have to put it over to this side, which you'd have to cut the tape and move it over to the other side. You know, not the end of the world, but we made this harness to work for both. So that's why this harness here for the coolant sensor was lengthening because the 5.7 is over here, 6.4 is over here. So we just made one harness to do two things. Let's see, can I do it? I mean, I can't, look at me go. All right, so alternator plug. I just cut the tape, all right? That would go over to here to this side. I'm going to do it kind of ugly, but you kind of get the idea. So that is where the alternator wiring goes. It goes from, it's on the passenger side. Now that's the reason, so we could do it for a 6.4 and for a 5.7 truck, as you can see. I mean, we'll neat and tidy it up, but this is how we do it. This is how we have to go from one side to the other or whatever, vice versa. Now, remember, air temp. So this is for the air temp, and we actually use a sensor from seven to 11 Jeep JK. That's the sensor we use for this harness. So keep that in mind. All right, well, gosh, I think that's about it. It's really getting, this is so simple. You know, this is really getting easy. It's not getting, it's not hard. And this is kind of just a walk about here, checking things out and seeing how it's laid out. And just kind of give you some ideas try and get things comfortable and making it easier as we go. So yeah, but this is getting to be so simple nowadays. This is also a late model engine. So this was a, um, God, you know what? I think it was a 21 actually. And so this one, we're running Grand Cherokee manifolds. So they're getting harder and harder to find, but this one's got the Grand Cherokees and you can kind of see how they turn down a lot quicker compared to the truck which kind of goes back a little bit and as you can see you would need to make a little clearance right here for the pipe to go whoop, down you know so I think that will be the same on this side too yep Grand Cherokee and as you can see whoop, it's sharper so there's the back of the block and then this is going down and they work, but man, they're getting more and more scarce. Plus the pipe size is a little bit smaller, you know? Yeah, but I think the rest of the manifold's about the same, but the pipe size is a little bit different, so. But yeah, this is how we've been doing it for years, and I think that manifold's getting harder and harder to get. But um, I think we're gonna, eh, I don't think they're on backboard. I just think that there's nobody there to get them, so. All right, well. Truck Hemis, eight speeds. It's what we've been doing. This is where it's at. And this is what it's about. There's definitely nothing better than a 
good HP 70 and a truck Hemi. I think this is the ticket. It's been working out great. Definitely made a big difference in what we do because I don't really have any failures. Working out great and everybody else seems to be pretty happy with it. So, all right, any questions? I got all the answers. Jeep Speed Shop, out.